on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. Now, she doesn't use what she make in order to qualify herself for marriage, which she is married now, but she didn't use what she made in order to qualify herself for marriage. And she very much married a guy. She made over a quarter million. She married a guy that made $90,000 a year. That didn't matter to her because she was already well off and getting to the bag and the thing that... How many? You miss, hold on, fam. Hold on, hold on, fam. Let me just make my point real quick. My point is that she didn't, because her mentality was different, she didn't use how much she made in order to determine the type of guy that she needed. She didn't say what well, he needed to make this. She was looking for other types of qualities. And as a result, she wasn't leading with her, her salary and her position in order to justify her desires. And so she got the results that she wanted. The point that I'm making is the same point that uh, Ariel is making in that if she was making $2 million, the things that she would look for and desire had nothing to do with the man's ability to provide. No, that's why I said like your love is, is, is might be a, uh, my love. When I consider love, I think it's, a, I think it's uh, emotional, illogical. When I think of marriage, I think of partnership. I think of share, sharing of values, similar values or passing down values. To me, marriage is a business for me, for me. Yeah. It has nothing, it, 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 if love is involved, cool, but it doesn't have to be. Now I see why we don't agree on anything. <laughs> it's it's okay. I'm I'm the one. I'm, I'm talking to my, my my lady every day, every morning. It's all right. We can we, we can figure it out. Um, <laughs> what I disagree with you, Ken, I don't wait and, three days to talk to my baby. All right. Thank you. Okay. The the reason why I said I disagree with you is because you said you know if a woman has a degree or a good paying job, then she's disqualified or her pickings is small. I didn't say. I, I didn't say she disqualified. I said no. Um, her pickings are small. Get smaller. I said her selection pool is minimi is minimizes. Yes, right. No. Her pickings are smaller. So the I reason, yeah. Nope. The reason why. Okay. The reason why I disagree with that because I don't think it's those attributes that makes her the pickings are you know who she can get is a, is a smaller pool. It's the attitude that will come with it on some women. So when some women get, you know, a, a degree and they're dating someone without, it's the attitude or I am superior to you because I have a college degree. When a woman makes more money than a man, it doesn't, you know, it's the attitude of I am better than you. I can provide more than you. So it's the attitude of a woman that will make her selection smaller, not necessarily those attributes getting a degree it's a beautiful thing. It brings intellectual conversations to the relationship. But right. if you're feeling superior to someone, then that's right. the issue. It's the feeling of I am better than because I have a degree. I'm making more money. I have this and that than the person. Not that they have it. Right. So what I would say to you is that, you know, in statistics, you learn that correlation doesn't equate to causation. Nope. Mm -hmm. So what happens is... <laughs> Yo, JR, you gotta let me breathe, man. But what happened? What happens is, is, is just because something happened doesn't mean like just because I say you, you girls that women that get degrees and make higher money, um, minimize the, the selection pool is smaller, right? You're saying no, it's not that. It's something else that's associated with that. That's what you're saying, right? Which is the attitude they might have after they get those things, right? I'm saying you're wrong. I'm saying you're wrong. Let me tell you why you're wrong. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, I don't, and I, and I agree with the black woman. If a black woman is making six figures and she has a certain amount of degrees, she should want the best type of man she can get if she has feminine, if she's in her feminine nature. She deserves the best, right? So why would she settle? That's why your selection pool minimizes. Because why most people are making more money. But though. Not, no, no, but no, 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 no. I'm using an example. But if, like, if she, if she, Okay, Ariel, if you how, I'm, if you made if you made if before you were married, if you made two million, would you marry someone that made that made thirty thousand? Yeah, because oh, I make yeah. two million. So, so how many people? How many women think like you? I can't speak on that. Okay, this is why I'm, this is why we then we should stop this conversation because y'all always no because no because I'm being realistic. No, no, I don't no, know how many women no, no, think that way. That's, that's, but what I'm that. saying is is that a woman who is wise can also realize like. Sometimes just because a majority of women are thinking away doesn't mean it's right, though. I never said that's right. the way it should I never, be. I never said it was right. I'm right. Saying, so what I'm saying that's is what's going on now. That's a problem. See, that's what I'm saying. This is what's going on now. And this is why. Yeah. And that's why, why we're have, here. That's why you have people like Kevin Samuels that say, woman, y'all need to lower your standards. 
because the stands y'all coming out with, you're not. It's not enough men to supply that. So what I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, is it's not enough men to supply all the educated and well-rounded women, right? So at that's some not point, why he says you need to no, lower your stand. No, 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 no. He's, and I don't even think he's lowering stand. You're conflating no, arguments. No, 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 no. Listen, what, what, no, what I gather from me is that men, what men, women, men want women to reciprocate the same type of energy that they ask for. It's not true. Why don't no what what, what? if we, we what hold on hold on so you're saying to me that if I ask a woman wo woman that graduates school she wants a man that has a job and she and, and he could do certain things but if I ask a woman hey listen I need you to do this am I in the right to ask her that what is this this is if I ask a woman if I make a certain amount do I have the right to ask women to make the same amount same amount I make. Uh, so yeah, you have the right to ask for whatever you want, but the point, but the point, does the woman, have the, here's the, right, does the woman have the same right to ask a man to make the same amount she makes right or wrong? They can ask for whatever they want. It, it's not a right or wrong question. The problem that you're, the, the problem with your argument is that the things that men desire and look for out of women is different from the things that women no, desire. That I agree with. That I agree with, but and that's the thing that Kevin Samuels. That's the context that Kevin Samuels. Adds, that I so agree with. No, no, no. That I agree with. I don't care if a woman how much a woman makes. I care if she looks good and she's in shape. That's all I care about. Right. I'm with you. Correct. But, so you can't. But but the woman that go to school and do do well for herself professionally, sometimes they slack in that. Sometimes. Right. So my point use, is, is that and they use their jobs or their college degrees as a substitute for the things that we don't really care about. But the point that I'm making is that, again, your argument is flawed because you can't say that a woman wants and adds without adding the additional context for what men look for in women. So a woman, for example, could have those same things because I know some dope women that make a lot of. I know a woman that make over a quarter million dollars you know, a year. You know, you know. Hold on, listen, listen to me, fam. I know a woman that make over a quarter million dollars a year, and she keep it tight, super duper tight. Now she doesn't use what she make in order to qualify herself for marriage, which she is married now. But she didn't use what she made in order to qualify herself for marriage, and she very much married a guy. She made over a quarter million. She married a guy that made ninety thousand dollars a year. That didn't matter to her because she was already well off and getting to the bag. And the thing that how many? Miss, hold on, fam. Hold on, hold on, fam. Let me just make my point real quick. My point is that she didn't because her mentality was different. She didn't use how much she made in order to determine the type of guy that she needed. She didn't say what well, he needed to make this. She was looking for other types of qualities, and as a result, she wasn't leading with her her salary and her position in order to justify her desires. And so she got the results that she wanted. The point that I'm making is the same point that uh, Ariel is making in that if she was making $2 million, the things that she would look for and desire had nothing to do with the man's ability to provide. 